Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or insight that you truly need it please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share i'll be truly appreciated and the video i'm doing today is called uh experiencing um off the chart sensitivity of being a receiver uh or a flashlight, you know, the stir of echoes effect. Um, I was watching Stir of Echoes the other day, and I mean, this used to be my movie. I'm like a straight Kevin Bacon, Johnny Depp, you know, that's my boy too, uh, fan. And it was like something, you know, it's just like y'all hear me a lot when you've been over here with me for a while. You know, you hear me say, you know, there's a lot of movies that uh that gives me insight on what i really need to pay attention to what things have been in my life for a long time and i really wasn't able to see it until it was you know that time but then it was like when i was seeing it i got really really emotional because it, it was seeing like there was so many people going through that spirit you know spiritual awakening of when we're doing a lot of clearance we're allow you know uh, we're allowing ourselves to purge out you know the things that we're going through is not easy you know we have emotions like where we're just pissed off at world we're pissed off at god you know all the different things that we're going through because it is so heavy and it, it's just like these are the things that it's like you're, you're allowing yourself to go through it that's the big you know congratulations to you if you're allowing yourself to really go through it you know god and universe knows the things that we're facing is not easy it's not easy at all but you're allowing yourself to really go through it you know when you allow yourself to talk to you know universe and talk to yourself just to be honest like you know what this hurts you know i'm, I'm gonna allow myself to go through this is hurt i know i'm a strong person but there's a lot of things that i may not understand what i'm going through there's a lot of things that god and you know is put me through you know um, I'm not gonna allow this to beat me you start going off at the devil like you ready to go head for head with him it's just like look the moves I'm making is making you really nervous this is the reason why you keep acting stupid with me you know you would be ready to just kick his ass in the throat and he, these are the different things and it's just like when I was watching Star Echoes you know um, Kevin Bacon's uh, sister-in-law went ahead and you know, wish that, you know, he played them hypnosis thing. I was like, I don't, you know, anybody know me. As long as, me, as long as I can't, I don't play with no hypnosis. You ain't going to put me through that again. But it was just like he opened, his, he's like, I want her, him to be more open-minded. And it's just the fact, you know, when you're seeing that, you, you know, it's just like when you're doing a lot of clearing. Even when people are coming back into your life. Um, just to make that final spin, you, you, there's lessons you may need to learn off of that. And it's just like when you do so much purging, you start seeing how your, your sensitivity, you get anxious around people that you know that don't mean right for you. You get anxious for people that you know that wish bad on you. You know, be different things where you can even feel the vibes of somebody when they're, when, when they're just like, they're envious of you in some kind of way. It don't even have to be something just because the fact is how much you know how you're intelligent, you, you're walking on, you know, you're allowing yourself to walk into your truth, you know, you're allowing yourself to really speak your mind and not worry about, you know, how it makes other people uncomfortable. When you're speaking your truth, you know, that, you know, pe people get um, really uncomfortable because they are comfortable in lies, they're comfortable in denial, they be walking down in that, you know, down that valley in Egypt, people are like, Rosalind, what are you talking about, walking the valley in Egypt, denial? You ready to go down that river, you know, you, you you know, and it's just like you're starting to feel it. And when you're doing that, you're starting to feel all these different energies that's coming in. You know, I noticed there'll be some comments that you you know, y'all be dropping on me and it's just like Roz and I feel it. I don't know what it is, but you know, I feel something. It makes me feel alive, you know, or it makes me very hypersensitive, you know, more sensitive than I have ever had before. You have to understand you have leveled up in so many different ways. Doors are opening. So you're entering different channels of your vibrations that's already been there. So it's opening up you know, on hyper, you know, is it, making your sensitivity towards whatever gifts that you have. You know, if you're able to feel it, you know, you'll hear different things where, you know, um, you're that flashlight, you're that receiver. You know, a lot of times, you know, you have children that are on the spectrum. And I tell people, you know, you even though that 
a lot of times people tell me it's like Rosalind, you know, I'm not used to people allowing something a, as a positive format to be projected out when it connects with people with autism. And it's just like I never had that experience to have having to deal with it. I've dealt with it on the outside with people that I deal with that have children that are very autistic and I'm able to give different vibrations or different messages or ask for different things. It's like, hey, is this going on with you? Or, you know, is your baby start shifting off in that? And they're telling you not to be scared about that. Because it's just like those are, are God's, you know, uh, silent alarms. Those is God, God's, you know, s silent guardians. You know, they do things in a hyper way. You know, I tell people, you know, we're just like a roller coaster. We're like a Ferris wheel like this when it comes to us, you know. But we got bright lights going around with us because it's like Ferris wheel somewhat on, on a regular you know, roller coaster on top of that Ferris wheel, you know, but it's not loops or turns. But when it comes to children that got like Asperger's or they're mute and stuff like theirs, theirs is like a, you know, whatever, you know, whatever amusement park you went to and you see them loops like that, that's what it deals with with autism. So it's just like, not just you are hitting that spike, but it's even your 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 children or your relatives or whoever is in special needs when it comes to the spectrum. They're feeling it really really heavy right now. Even your your pets are feeling it. It's like my my girl cat. She being real needy is like you know she want to be up under me twenty four seven, and that's good too because there'll be different times where I really need her at that time and she'll feel it. Like okay, let me come up under you, mama. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm like oh, I don't feel bad. No, you need me to come up under you. You know, and all those different things. And you're allowing yourself to really go through those challenges. You know, um, and these are those times where even when you're allowing yourself to repeat history, it's telling you there was lessons learned from that. There's things that you needed to see. There was confirmation that you already knew you had to be able to see it. Or there'll be different things that, you know, universe is already giving you a notification for to look out for. And these are those, you know, those little spiritual notifications that you're getting. And it's like different changes are going in where you may hear, um, you may be thinking about your relatives that have passed on. Or you may, you know, you may see them at the corner of your eye. Or it'll be different times you can see in your peripheral you'll see different things on flash and you'll be looking like what the heck is that or it'll be you know the temperature change or you can even be in a different room or you can have a confirmation and then those spiritual chills are really hitting you but they're hitting you a lot more different than they used to you know make you feel at times where you when you're so open to it it drains your your energy a lot and it's just the fact is because your your spiritual body within yourself is peaking but it's like the human part of yourself is trying to catch up so these are the times where it's like you you need to be in solitude there'll be different times where you may feel lonely but these are those times where you know what i need to be with myself right now these are the different things i need to figure out these are different things that i'm really trying to allow myself to heal with because these things aren't easy and especially i don't know if we just had a uh a full moon or there's another full moon getting ready to take place i don't i don't remember because it's just been I, i've been trying to get my sleep so i don't remember if there was a full moon that just happened or is about to happen or whatever but i know those junctions that are coming in it's like even though we had that full moon as soon as i said that all hair start you can't really see it but all hair just start popping up as soon as i said that and it's just like the conjunctions are really spiking right now and they're telling you if you know you're a lot more dehydrated than you usually do you craving water or it's just the fact is you're eating a lot more than you usually be i'm just like you know i don't even notice there'll be some time i'm like I, i'm eating like i've been smoking herbs and i don't smoke herbs anymore but it's just your fact is you purging out so much and it's like you need that nutrients back in so if you got like granola bars or you got uh not gr yeah even granola bars is just tell me you know tell people granola bars i said i need to get me some i ain't got no but granola bars a lot of fruit you know um if you're not um eating things really solid they're telling you not to eat things really solid it can even mess up your stomach your so solar plexus maybe you know you really going through it like you may be getting gastric a lot because it's like everything is trying to push up everything is trying to take out and you're feeling it and it makes you feel so uncomfortable and you're not you you know you get very annoyed it don't matter you're getting annoyed quick and it's just like you're moving you're moving forward and you've been hyping up and it'll be just a lot of times where it even feel like you know like i've told you on different videos before when you're allowing yourself to be positive and being assertive like that it's gonna piss a lot of people off 
You know, it really is the people that are not wanting to move, the people that are okay being just where they're being. You know, you have to allow yourself to, if it makes people uncomfortable, then so be it. This is your chance to do that. Everybody should be doing it, but you can't force anybody to do that. You know, it may even get annoyed with you when you see somebody needs to really heal and they don't want to do that. You just have to be able to send blessings their way. You know, we can't force anybody to heal. We can't force anybody to do right. You know, it'll be your time like, look, you know, I'm, I'm going to send those blessings your way, but I'm going to focus on me. You know, I just don't have time. You know, you just don't have time. And it's that, that you know, where you're starting to really feel it. And anybody, anybody who's ever seen that movie, it was just like, it was guided towards me. And I got so emotional because it's like, dang, this was like an indication of me from a long time ago. You know, that, seven signs, you know, um, six cents, you know, all those different things where, where, you, where you have been open. To being that sensitive one and you didn't really know you were being sensitive about it you know and the thing that creeped me out about it and when the little boy you know you start to hear all those little voices that's coming in people like why doesn't i hear this and this and that you know or you may be used to receiving different things from your family from the other side and all of a sudden it got quiet no they've been talking you just haven't been listening and a lot of time people are like why why i haven't been listening because it's like you know they're there and they're trying to communicate with you because it's like you starting to get all different forms of ringing in the ear it could be high tone it'll be really low tone um it could be different ears you know they sometimes say you know the left hand you know the left ear is when people talking bad about you but the right ear is when people talking good about you either or you know you know you know that communication you know a left ear people gonna always talk about you it's just fact is you it is what it is you know you know who you are you know what you represent you know what you define it don't matter about that but it's just like listen to the things that are nourishing to you you know because it's just the fact is you're doing that now ego is start e ego is starting to get fidgety right along with your fear is coming in they want you to keep constantly thinking about the things that you have gone through the things that you may have been shameful of um things that people may have done and said to really hurt you and, it, and you know it'll even be you know, from what universe is saying, even people from your past may be popping up in your dreams. They may be missing you where you, you don't know, want to cross their mind. And it could be people that you really like. If you don't go catch a clue, <laughs> you know, you're like, well, if you don't catch a clue, you have already did your damage. But sing and love your way anyway. But these are the different things that are really hyping you into your your senses. It's just like you are really feeling it right now. You are really peaking. You may be getting hot one minute, cold the next. What they're telling me is it's like ascension is really peaking right now. Kundalini is really peaking right now. Dark night of the soul is all the way out the daggone ballpark. And whatever gifts you have, they're already been hyping it up. But it's just the fact is now they're hidden ones that are coming out. And it's getting into alignment of that. And it can make you very like, look, <laughs> you don't want me to step out my side of my balance. You know, you don't want to do that. But universe is always constantly testing you. They know your weaknesses. They know what the things that ticks you off. They know the things that really put you in a bad mood. And they're trying to tell you you're doing a clearance right now. It may feel like you may you may make quick decisions on certain things. But you know your rights from your wrongs. They, You know there will be different things that you... Um, because the stuff, the balance is becoming so, so, you know, heavy and it's hitting so hype, you know, because it's like doors that are opening right now and it's universal doors that are really uh, connecting. And there's a lot of people where it's saying, you know, Akashic Records, if you've been, really been, um, you know, going through your changes, is something that's drawing you to know yourself from, you know, know thyself from the inside, like really go within and really know you know your your vibration from inside and out because you're learning yourself all over again but this is a part of yourself that is new you know because you're exiting out of the old chapter you're 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 exiting out of the old thoughts you know how you did things how you how you got your day started you know how you get your work done those are the times where it's telling tell you it don't work like that no more the more you start showing up for yourself you'll start seeing what kind of people it is just not you know in your in your in your your vibration not in your frequency anymore being able to allow yourself to maintain those boundaries even up for yourself and those things are getting really hard where you're getting anxious and you just like getting fidgety look like look 
<laughs> this is becoming too much and I really tried I really tried you know and you're really trying to get through it and there may be people dropping out of your life and it's just like they, they already don't serve their purpose now it's time for them to move on it's time for you to move on you know different um uh, different examples may be coming into your life where it's showing you, okay, you see this person is just not going to support you. They'll be going through a lot of different things on that, but it, it's just like you're being heavily watched. Whether it's good and bad, you're being heavily watched right now. And these are the different things that is going to make you any up. It, it's just like, is it, this is what warriors do. This is what warriors do. You know, you're heavily protected, you know, but they'll, they'll be the different things. It's like the more you starting to recognize your power, you have to understand too. Evil is going to try to co contradict what you know about yourself or what God promised you or what you're preparing yourself for. You know, what you're preparing yourself for the unknown. All these different things is using them to be strengthening you. Even the things that feel like it's trying to hold you back or different things that make it feel like you're being blocked from some situation. You already know if it's for you, you can't be blocked. You know, you can't be blocked. It's just you going into alignment of whatever is being promised to you or whatever God has told you, you know, and it's just we, we're being really tested on patience. <laughs> you know, it's like my eyes had to go across with patience. You have to really believe yourself, you know, that patience words is really getting heavy on you, you know, and they're just really telling you. You know, your growth is really uh, moving at rapid pace right now. And these are the things that's going to keep your mind open from these experiences that are taking place, from these turmoils that you got to face, from the fears that you have to allow yourself to step away from. These are the different things that strengthen you, even when it feels like it's punishing you. And um, it, it's just like, it, it's just basically clearing it you know the storm is just clearing a path for you and that's what they keep on saying that that storm is not to break you but it's to make you and it's clearing everything out your path that ain't supposed to be there and that means you either your fears the uh your worries you know um your persistence on being you know, want to be ahead of yourself. They always keep on drawing you back. You know, it's just like we understand the reason why you feel that way. We know what you're going through is uncomfortable. But this is making you a beast. This is reminding you that that beast vibration that you already had into you. These things had to take place for you to be able to know you're unstoppable. These are the different things that's going to catapult you in ways that you never seen coming. And it's just like when you're going through these stir of echoes, it's, it's just like it's a reminding you different things you'll start noticing it's like the habits that you have not habits but hobbies that you have is drawing you towards that and you'll be just like there may be a question that you have in your head because i know a lot of people got stuff going on in your life and they're telling you when you get into that 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 moment of truth where you stepping up for yourself there's more opportunities coming in your way to better your life you may have been going through a huge setback into your life you may be going through you know a real painful situation in your life and you really trying to allow yourself to be patient you're really trying to allow yourself to see everything from a positive aspect and they know from us having that human experience it's kind of hard to be able to see the positivity and all the bs that you keep going through and they're telling you you know when you allow yourself to be positive when you know you're allowing yourself to project good out even when bad things is happening you, you you may have your choice of words with us and we get that because we see all the positivity breaking out into your life and they feel like you ain't getting a break but they're telling you you know this is where it's going to show you unstoppable and a lot of times we have to place you know some kind of boundaries up you know because there may be some vibration or kind of resisting and you know and we know it's um, sometimes it's hard to be able to go through challenges a lot you know, especially when it, and when it hits you heavy and it's coming from every direction. They get that. But you are showing up for yourself and they say that's what really counts with you. So don't feel like, you know, just because you may have a little minor hiccup that done totally set you back. It didn't, but it was just the fact that you moving forward. And they know sometimes that when you do that, you know, um, you may have like a little you know, a little resistance, or you may snap a little bit, you know, as long as you ain't putting your hands on nobody or going to jail, you know, even if that thought come up, it, it, that's just the devil talking, because it's just, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it'll be the devil talking, so allow yourself to know, you know, universe knows that the different things that you were going through, and it's just reminding you, we, we here for you, you know, you'll have different things that's coming up, you know, you may have loved ones that, you know, you, you may hear, 
like a little whisper in your ear and you'll just be like, what the heck is that? And they're telling you you're not crazy. You know, there'll be different family members that are coming in to give you the extra nudge and saying, hey, you're not dealing with this with yourself. Even though I may feel lonely, you're not lonely. You know, we're helping you get through this. Maybe you're lonely because you don't have the right people in your life as of yet. You know, we cleared out all those people in your life that don't mean good for you. They may cast harm for you. Or these are people that, you know, y'all learned off of each other. Now it's time to branch off and move on. Y'all already on service purpose. Or there may be different things that's making deals behind your back that's going to try to make you crumble. Or these different things are, are people that are trying to place harm on you to block your blessings. You know, all those people are being cleared out. And they're, they're trying to be able to let you know of that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to Jessica Walton. Much love to you and congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And Carl Fouquet, much love to you. It's so good to hear from you. If you're new to my channel, you know, um, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking just to help you further your purpose give you a deeper understanding of your purpose um you know a lot of people share different things with me they don't do it here but they you know they contact me one-on-one -on -one. And um, just trying to give an understanding about their life, the things that they've gone through and to the point they are right now. And they're just really trying to get guidance. And I try my best to be able to help out the best way I can. And whatever we speak on is confidential. I also leave the link to my podcast as well, um, where it comes from Spotify and all those different things um, that I place on my community page. If you're, you know, you're knowing where my community page is. Um, and if you ever feel, you know, generous enough to make a donation, it will be greatly appreciated as well. I hope you enjoyed your Memorial Day, you know, uh, putting so much love and prosperity and abundance on, on your week and whatever you're trying to manifest into your life. I send so many uplifting vibes that goes against your way, well, goes for your way. Anything neg negative that goes against that and just go ahead and bypass that and just opening doors for you that you never uh, knew that they were open for you and just staying persistent and consistent. You know, if you need a break, take a break, but just don't quit on yourself. You know, the devil will make you want to give up today just because, you know, your blessings are coming in tomorrow. So allow yourself to keep going no matter what it looks like just keep going you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things you really take somebody a long way and i'll see you'll see me on my next video much love to you peace namaste